Hello everybody, welcome to a third video for Wednesday. This is going to be our final video of the day and I'm going to be live streaming in a moment a bit of the side event. Now, something to point out is that skeleton keys and uh, say a little bit of disappointment about week two of the um, event quest, or the, sorry, the side event, the rifts, needs to be mentioned about the right time to use the skeleton key. Now we did say, we did put out a video about two weeks ago, I think it was, when all these events went live and the best time to use the skeleton key or the universal key for the, um, uh, the, the usage and getting and procuring the right rewards. And that's something that I need to kind of like be very clear on and mention is that we know what's coming on. I don't think I, I mentioned in the video um, that I posted a couple of weeks ago about like we know what's actually going to be uh, coming on. And that's going to be something we'll just look at on screen right now. So as it says with the various respective difficulties on week four, you get uh, things like six star shards of 1000. Again, why this is important is because we had a, a really kind of like bad week two, which is here. There's all the stuff here week two. But as well, the right time to use the skeleton key. As I've said, and as I still want to reiterate, it's up to you whether or not you wait until week four to spend all four keys to procure the same thing uh, that uh, you may be lacking. And that's the thing. It may be best still to look at what you take home from week three, which is, again, on screen. You can see the uh, for legendary. It's six star shards, 1,000, uh, or it's the 700 one. Or it's uh, you know uh, five star shards, uh, signature stones, five star ones, and uh, yada yada yada. Very five star orientated. So you might kind of feel like, well, is this more value for me to spend three this week? And that's up to you. Like, I'm, I'm again the point of that previous video, uh, which I'm trying to you know reiterate maybe in this one is that it's up to you what you choose your spend to be on. But something to bear in mind is after a very kind of weak week two and as well how week one was you may be feeling after two weeks that things aren't going so well and this is the point of going like and i reason i have to get this video out now it's going to reiterate if you want to spend now because you want to acquire something that doesn't look too good then maybe you want to purchase on week th week three uh, and again there's maybe more reason for this if for whatever reason you want to target something like five star signature stone crystals i gotta be honest I don't think many people will. And again, that kind of like, you, you kind of puts you more perspective to, to target for week four, while it, you're getting six star signature stone crystals and you can focus really on that. The same way with tier five class catalyst fragment crystals, and you may be saying to yourself, well, I haven't really got that much this month, Rich, so I, I think I'll be best off doing that. At the end of the day, it's all about you doing you and understanding what you are lacking in, uh, in this month when it comes to take home. And that's going to be the point I'm going to really kind of like end on. It's just like free choice, but I think it's a good reminder now to go, look, start thinking about next week and start thinking about why and what you're low on. And as I said, like the reason that I've, I've done this and the reason that I'm tracking my rewards in my grind, which I've done for the, the last um, two weeks, and I will be posting a video tomorrow on this, is that I want to make sure that when I go to legendary difficulty, I look at, right, okay, well, how rubbish has my RNG been? And it, at the moment, it looks like it's pointing to me in the direction of six star shards because so far, unless I pick up at least, I don't know, two upwards of 4,000 in week three, it doesn't look good currently. So I need to guarantee stuff. And I would say as well that when you're spending your keys is to do it by, if you're doing it the final week, so say you were doing it for week four, is to go in three times first off and kind of go like, okay, I've picked up the six star shards because you may want to change. That's the thing. You may go, okay, I picked up, picked up 1,000 six star shards on run one, but I didn't pick up anything on run two. And then I picked up some further six star shards on run three. It means that your last uh, four runs are specific on the thing you need rather than saying that, okay, well, I didn't get what I wanted, but, and I'm close to a six star being formed. So therefore, why don't I reprioritize and go, right, let's just go, I've got the six star shards in this last week four run. Let's focus the last four runs in getting something like tier five class catalyst fragment crystal at 2%. Let's focus on six star signature stones. Those kind of things there, just to kind of like, just play savvy and understand where you are with limitations and what can be your success parameters. But yeah, it's a little quick video just to kind of like highlight that and just kind of re-remind it for players. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you very much and make sure to check out some other content I recently posted which should be floating in the ether above there and just finished watching Loki episode 2.
it was all right. I feel there's, there's a lot of sad work and uh, it's only by the end of episode two you kind of feel like, okay, we can see what, see what happens here. More dissection on that will be on Sunday's Contest Run podcast available on this channel as well as all the uh, other types of podcast services. See you later. Bye-bye.